Yo, yo, what's going on, y'all? This is Marcus Rosa, a.k.a. Mazuma TV, back at y'all with some more boxing talk, man. I hope everybody's having a blessed, beautiful, positive, productive day. Me, I'm on my way to go get it as always, man. I hope y'all doing the same. On the road to 3K, man. We well into the 2K mark, growing every single day. Shout out to the nation and the mob for making this possible. All right, y'all, let's talk about your boy Tank Take, man. Uh, he's been expressing himself on social media. Of course, he's deleting his tweets, as always, so I had to do a little bit of research um, to find out exactly what he said, word for word. And apparently, based off of the things that he's saying, um, he, he feels betrayed by Shakur Stevenson. You know what I'm saying? Um, for those of y'all who don't know, J Shakur Stevenson and Javante Davis, they had a pretty uh, solid relationship coming up together, I think, prior to both of them being world champion. Even as far back as Shakur Stevenson being an amateur, in all honesty, um, I recall, I recollect times where, you know, Shakur Stevenson and Javante Davis were sparring partners. You see what I'm saying? Um, I don't know exactly what camp he was getting Javante Davis ready for, but regardless, they have a history of actually being around each other, you know, actually being friends. They have multiple pictures together. You know what I'm saying? So it's safe to say that they had a friendship at one, at one point in time. They was comrades, comrades. You know what I'm saying? Like they was uh, friends in this boxing shit. However, it seems as if, you know, Shakur Stevenson started to grow in boxing. You know, he started to win uh, multiple titles and multiple divisions. It went from uh, friends to rivals, you know what I'm saying? Which is pretty common in the sport of boxing, man, when you out here to prove that you're the best and, you know, you cool with somebody who happens to be at the top of the division, man, it's a, it's a point, it gets to a point where y'all have to put your friendship to the side and, you know, settle it in the ring to prove who's the best, you know what I'm saying? Because if it were a situation where, you know, uh, friends didn't fight each other just off of the strength that they were friends, there'd be a lot of big fights in the sport of boxing that we may have missed out on. You see what I'm saying? So, uh, yeah, that's pretty much that. So, uh, Shakur, uh, Javante Davis goes on Twitter, you know what I'm saying, at a point in time where Shakur Stevenson hasn't been on Twitter in a few days. I'm going to salute him for that because, yeah, that, that's pretty unusual behavior for Shakur. That'll just let you know that maybe he had enough of the social media. He probably had enough of talking. You know, he probably just locked in. You know what I mean? On the boxing shit, he probably don't want to go back and forth with anybody. Maybe he noticed that, you know, it, it, it's a waste of energy to be uh, indulged or invested in what strangers have to say to you. I understand that they boxing fans at the end of the day, but to, you know, really invest your energy into everybody's opinions and, you know, try to justify yourself to everybody, that's a huge waste of energy, man, and that would be more useful going into uh, a training camp, you know what I'm saying? To put on a great performance against whoever the hell you get in the ring with. But regardless... Uh, Javante Davis goes on social media and he says that, you know, uh, he doesn't fuck with Shakur Stevenson. Uh, and this was in regards to Floyd Mayweather, you know what I'm saying? Because uh, Javante Davis has said this multiple times that they put him in that, uh, that Jose Pedraza fight early on in his career because they were setting him up to lose. You see what I'm saying? They didn't know that he was that good. He rose above and, you know, he was able to show them guys that he was better than what he was. And that's why he doesn't fuck with Shakur Stevenson because while he was going through these things with Mayweather promotions, when uh, when when they was giving him a hard time while he was with Floyd Mayweather, he was putting Shakur on game. You see what I'm saying? He's telling them, you know, to avoid this company, man. They don't got your best interest. They don't fuck with you like that. You know what I'm saying? And that's essentially the reason why Shakur didn't sign with uh, Floyd Mayweather and TMT. And there may be some validity to it because at the end of the day, I do remember a point in time where Shakur Stevenson was wearing like TMT hats and, you know, Floyd went to visit him, I think, during the Olympics and shit like that. So um, Mayweather undoubtedly was scouting him. You know what I'm saying? He really wanted Shakur. But, you know, I remember it being a surprise when Shakur signed with Top Rank because we were all sure that Shakur was going to sign with TMT. You know what I'm saying? So maybe there is some truth to what Javante Davis is saying. You know what I mean? He might feel betrayed because he's like, yo, I looked out for you. You know what I mean? Uh, I put you in a better position because I told you to avoid these certain situations and this is how you repay me by disrespecting me and you know what I mean just uh, using uh, going with uh, rocking with Floyd to go against me and shit like that so I understand why Javante Davis feels betrayed you know what I'm saying and this is why Shakur Stevenson has the reputation that he does you know what I mean a lot of people think that Shakur a crab motherfucker they think he a snake you know what I'm saying like this is something that I've heard religiously uh with, with Shakur Stevenson throughout his career. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, that that's probably how the way the Haney's look at him because, you know, the Haney's took him under under their wing and was he was staying over their house and all types of shit. And now you're going out of your way to disrespect Bill Haney. Um, I can see why, you know, Shakur Stevenson has the reputation he does. And I understand why Javante Davis is pretty much pissed off at Shakur because, you know what I mean? He told you about Floyd. 
He told you what Floyd had been putting him through. He told you how he wasn't that good of a promoter. And he uh, he pretty much gave you a gem by avoiding Floyd Mayweather. Because you see exactly what's going on with TMT fighters right now, where they're having trouble getting fight days. A lot of people are being released or, or uh, they're leaving TMT, like Jalil Hackett most recently, uh, um, uh, Richardson Hitchens, Savannah Marshall. Now jo Johan Ingram is, is begging to be released from Mayweather Promotions. You see what I mean? So maybe Javante Davis did do the man a favor. So with him putting him on game, dropping gems on him, and for Shakur to, you know, uh, allow Floyd to use him as like a, a, a piece on the chest, on the fucking chessboard, you know, I can see how Javante Davis looks at him like a, a fake ass nigga. You know what I'm saying? Um, the only thing I seem to disagree with with Javante Davis, in, in, in a sense, is that he acts like uh, Shakur isn't worthy of like calling him out, or Shakur shouldn't call him out because you know uh, they they had a history, they're friends and shit like that. At the end of the day, man, Javante, you at the top of the sport, you one of the biggest draws in the sport of boxing. You know what I'm saying? And motherfuckers, you got a target on your back, man. Whether they friends or they foes, whatever the situation is, man. Um, there's people that's gonna come, that, that's going that's gonna come to try to take your, your your spot from you. And Shakur Stevenson is one of them dudes. You know, he fought his uh, at one point in time brother-in-law. You know, went up to 130, fought a good friend of his, Jamel Heron. You know, what I mean, they used to be in training camp together along with with Terrence Crawford and shit like that. You know, he turned on him to get that fight. You know what I'm saying? He turned on Devin Haney. You know what I'm saying? When they had a close relationship, so I don't know why you necessarily surprised. You know what I'm saying? You know, that's the only thing I seem to disagree with. But in, in terms of uh, the other reasons why Javante Davis is looking at Shakur like he a fraud or he fake and stuff like that, bro, I, I think he has every right to feel that way. You know what I'm saying? Now, if you want to fight me, all right, cool. If you want to, if you want to, if you want to put a fight together uh, against me uh, further down the line, or you just want to prove that you're the best, so you want to beat me, all right, ain't no, ain't nothing personal taken. Yeah, at least from my perspective. You know what I'm saying? It's business. You know what I'm saying? It's boxing. However. If I have a history of putting you on game and telling you to avoid something, and I pretty much essentially made helped you dodge a bullet, and then you go on to go against, the, use that, uh, you go on to defend that same man to uh, shit on me. Yeah, I'ma feel betrayed. You know what I'm saying? Like, damn, I helped you avoid this nigga, and now you're using this nigga to try to uh, build up a fight with me. You you allowing this man to use you when you know he could have easily ruined your career or stalled your career. These are things that um, Javante Davis has every reason. Uh, to be upset about You know what I'm saying But you know That's just my perspective On the whole situation Y'all let me know What y'all think in the comments below This is Mizuma TV Thank you very much For tuning in I'm out of here man Peace